Let's start off with Sarah Hurwitz. She has a look at those river conditions I was just referring to. Sarah? Yeah, good evening, Pete. Well, the Columbia River here is low and as well as many other area rivers in the Portland metro area. And that's why the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says it's really important to be alert and understand the risks when you're heading out here on the water. A hot day means plenty of people out on the Columbia. But the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says don't let a good time get ruined by a lack of awareness of the dangers lurking below. With the sandbars and everything that change constantly, most people don't even see it. They'll just drive straight over it. Deputy Sheriff Scott McDowell took us out on the Columbia River for a look. All over the bottom changes and new sandbars pop up. Uh, shallow hazards show up where the sand's building up. He says shifting sandbars in the Columbia can pose a huge risk to boaters who could get stuck or hit it going too fast, which could send passengers flying. People don't really realize it because when they're out here in the fall or in the spring, the water's higher than it is right now. In places like the Sandy River, which is also low, it could be particularly dangerous for paddlers and people floating because of debris built up in the water. So what's the best plan of action? Go in slow, figure out what's there, what's around in that area, and then recreate as much as you want. Now, not only knowing where you are, but also having the right safety equipment is key. The sheriff's office wants to remind everybody to wear a, a life jacket, no matter what you're doing out here on the water. Putting life here in Northeast Portland tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.